Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this short presentation just to be really clear for you about our expectations when you're in your live lessons and how our staff will be using the rewards and the sanctions over Broncom in just the same way as they would do in um, normal lessons when you're physically in school but with a few adaptations to make it work with your live lessons. So you've got here nice and clearly our expectations of our staff and you as our students. And as you can see, in terms of what we're expecting of your teachers, it's everything that you would expect us to expect, that they will admit you on time, make sure they're keeping an eye on the lobby um, to admit you, that um, they will use chat to answer any questions about the work in as timely a way as possible, that they will plan lessons that are really well sequenced um, and that they will deliver lessons in a way that allows you time to be able to um, complete your work. <clears throat> they will use those rewards and sanctions that I'm about to talk to you about and they will be really mindful of and act on safeguarding guidance all of the time. What do we need of you? Well, what we need of you, again, is exactly what you would expect. It's far easier for your staff to be admitting you through the lobby on the live lessons if you are arriving to each lesson on time. We would ask you as students, please, to keep your videos off unless the teacher directs you otherwise. And similarly, to stay muted unless the teacher directs you otherwise. In terms of using the chat, it is a really useful function, but you need to make sure that you are only using it to communicate with the teacher, not with one another socially. Um, I need to make it really clear to you that, that whatever you've typed into the chat is a permanent, permanent record. So I can look back at chats that I've had over Teams with people in, say, November of last year, and I can still see it. So that makes it really even more important that never use that chat for inappropriate language or bullying type language. Unlike during um, normal school, if we're, um, any accusations are being mean to another student, we have to investigate and make sure that that accusation is actually true. If you are mean to another student over chat, then there's no investigation needed. We just look back and we can see it. It's a permanent record. So only use chat to be able to talk to the teacher. Um, we would very strongly recommend that you're using that raise icon, raise hands icon to ask for help so that if then the teacher um, then, then acknowledges that, then they can unmute you or invite you to unmute yourselves if they've left that facility open to you and then you can ask the questions. We'd also be really recommending that when you're working at home, that you're keeping your work organised into your different subject areas, because at some point we will be back in normal school. And if you've kept your work organised in that way, both on your computers or laptops and any work that you're doing in terms of writing, that will help you in that transition back to school. And, and finally, just as we say with our staff, then don't share any personal details online. Again, that comes back to you not using the chat in that social way, but it's also about you thinking about the background of what people can see behind you. So I'm speaking to you from my office, so I don't need to think about any personal details in the background. But if I was recording this at home, I would make sure that I had my camera positioned in such a way that you couldn't see anything of any particular interest behind me. It would maybe just be a wall, for instance, or the curtains. So really think carefully about not sharing personal details online. We're asking staff to use rewards in just the same way as we do when we are in school. So they might use positive points for answering questions, um, where work has been submitted and we can see that you've made a real effort, um, that they are giving out at least one Thrive card in each live lesson, um, and that they are continuing to make a positive call or a positive email home for one of the students that they teach during the course of the week. Our sanctions are just the same as they were when you are physically in school. Um, we've asked teachers to certainly for the near future to keep using um, that reminder at the start of every lesson to not use the chat socially. And we've given them that particular sentence that they can cut and paste and put into their chat facility uh, to remind you of that. 
we have to be really clear with you as students that where we might have private words with you in class that chat is a public chat and so if we are um, giving chances or warnings we are going to have to do that using that chat facility really um, and everybody will be able to see that so they will use that chat facility to give you your chance if it's a smaller group they might do that out loud um, that remember is the chance for you to amend your behavior similarly we've added um, a, a warning category to Broncom which is about warning you for inappropriate comment or behavior in the live lessons and that's for any behavior that impedes the smooth running of the lesson so using chat socially would definitely come into that category sending really silly comments putting stupid emojis in um, you know starting something off that then other people pick up on um, any kind of loud noises if your teachers have not disabled the um, the mute and unmute facility so any kind of comments that are going on in the background like you're deliberately playing loud music all of those kind of things are not okay why are they not okay because they stop people from concentrating they stop them from concentrating on the core content of the lesson um, if you've already been given a chance, you will then be given a warning and the warning will remind you that actually the next sanction is to then remove you as a student from that lesson. And whilst you will be readmitted the following lesson, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> um, you won't be readmitted during that lesson. And that means that you are still expected to continue with the work, but without the teacher there to support you. So I am absolutely certain that the vast majority of our Badfield students will not need to be removed from the lesson because I know how sensible the vast majority of you are. But I equally know that there is a small minority that aren't. Make sure that you're not in that small minority. Um, if students are removed from the lesson, we're asking staff to put that on Bromcom as a behaviour referral and to contact your parents or carers via email and to copy us in as senior leaders. And that students who are getting multiple referrals, they will be discussed in the first instance with the head of year and the senior member of staff that's linked to that head of year. Um, just so you're aware, for year seven, that's Mrs Hogg, um, who's the senior leadership team link. A reminder that in year eight it used to be me but it's now Miss Tyrrell in year nine the senior leadership link is Mr Osborne in year 10 it's Miss Tyrrell again and in year 11 that's Mr Osborne so that's nice simple straightforward for you um, so that you know what we're expecting of you and I absolutely hope that for the vast majority of you the only thing that's going to apply are all of the rewards that we are giving okay thank you for listening